Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have a brief introduction about the events, right? So we have seen about two things. So first one is about the event listener, event listener, and also the event handler. So these are the two things you need to keep it in mind when you are trying to learn about the events. And also in the event listener, I have told you that, sorry, the spelling mistake and also in the event listener i told you that there are three ways which we can implement the event listener so there are three ways which we can implement the event listener first one is inline event listener so which we'll try to see now inline event listener and another one is inline properties so this one also we'll try to learn it and last one is the event listener so these are the different types which we have learned it so first in this video we will try to see about the inline event listener inline event listener means so for example let's say that how it will look like so inline event listener we are trying to learn about the inline event listener let's say that i am having a button okay so this is a button let's close this button and you can have something like text click me okay so now inline event inline event listener means it's an inline thing so it will be having an attribute key value pair so here i can write on click so whenever a button is clicked on please on click so i can call hello world pro, hello world method or anything okay so like this so this is now what is this one is so this one is an keyword provided by the dom api so here you need to understand that that on click is provided by the dom api dom api so that attribute name so on click so whenever that button is click immediately this function is executed so what is this function this is nothing but a javascript function so this hello world represents the javascript function so that means you need to implement this code in the javascript code, javascript javascript file so how you can implement that one simple so you will be having a function hello world and it will simply say it's a function and it will simply say alert hello world or something like this that's it so like this we will be writing so this is called as an inline event listener so this is called as an inline event listener so here you can use the double quotes or without double quotes also you can use it it's not a problem so when we will use double quotes is we already learned in the html thing that in the attributes session in the html we have learned it in that course if you don't know you can uh, go back to the html course so that you will learn about that one so if you are having a single word without any spaces or without any single quotes or double quotes like that means so you can use it without any single quote or double quote if you are having something like hello world like this so now it will be better to space is there right so then it will be better to use a double quotes so in order to have a for example what i can say is so good practice or anything so if you want to use the all the project double quotes means you can use it not a problem single quote or double quote so this is all about the inline event listener so now let's jump on to the code and try to implement the same functionality event listener and let's see that how it will uh, how we can get the output so here i am having this event listener.html file okay i am using the visual studio code and uh, live server i am using so here i am taking the html template yeah so in this body i am having button click here so this is the button i am having let's try to see the button whether it will be able to see see it or not so here i am able to see a button click here when i click on this button so i need to get an alert message that click here hello world so now here i need to use a inline event listener so now we are trying to learn about the inline event listener so here on click is equal to hello world so this is the method which i will be trying to write now let's execute this one we'll let's see what will happen so if i try to refresh this page okay if i click on this one see immediately i'm able to get hello world is not defined so here when i am trying to click on this one so that event listener is trying to listen to the click event whenever this click event has happened <clears throat> immediately so this is listening to the click event right so it is trying to execute this hello world method so in which we haven't implemented this hello world method so now we have we need to implement this one so that is the reason we are getting an error that hello world is not defined so now we need to define it how we can define it so just simple so you can use the script code in this script code what we need to write so we need to write a function 
so if it doesn't have any knowledge about these functions and all those things so you can revert back to the javascript complete course there i have uh, explained about the functions and its arguments and all those things i have explained it so here this is the function and this hello world it should match now here i can write alert hello world that's it so now let's see the output what will happen so now if you try to see the output refresh it and if i click on this one see now we are able to get an alert message without any problem so now we have successfully implemented the first basic primitive event listener that is nothing but inline event listener so this type of implementation is there from the start from the dom browser uh, introduction onwards so not introduction so correct word what you can say is bro dom existing onwards so the first dom existing onwards this type of implementation is there so going on going on going on so latest type of another way of implementation has been came let's we'll try to learn those all the things also so just i want to explain you from the basic time basic onwards this is there right from the beginning onwards beginning of the dom and the browser onwards this type of implementation is there so without any problem you can use this type of implementation but there are also different types which we'll try to explain it so this is a basic way about the inline event listener hope you understood about this first one inline event listener if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you